In scientific notation, we are going to add 20,000 plus 3 million and 400,000. So before I talk about what the scientific notation is, let's just add. Let's just add number seven. And let me put them uh, line up with um, line up to the right, right, when we're trying to add. So I have 20,000 like this. And then I have 3 million 400,000. So I think I have a three, four, zero, zero, and then one, two, three, three more zeros. So you, I just line up to a decimal point because they're all whole numbers, so it's like line up to the right. When we add, we get this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, this is two, and then we have a four, we have a three. Okay, so normally that would be the answer, right? But that's not one of the answer choices because we are going to talk about what scientific notation is. So I'll leave that uh, here for a minute and let me talk about the big uh, deal right here. Scientific notation. So the idea of a scientific notation is to deal with huge number. So as you can see that earlier you had to write like so many zeros. This is 3 million 420,000, right? And you don't want to just keep writing this number over and over again. Scientific notation is just an easier way to represent big number. An, easy way, an easier way to write big numbers um, in a more condensed form. And we're going to study how to do it. So scientific notation, this is in the form of sum number A times 10 to some power. And let me talk about what this A is. This number is just some number. Some number. But it has to be between 1 to 10. And sometimes it could be negative. So, or negative 1 to negative 10. So, we want to keep the leading number small. Like maybe like 2.5 or 7.7. .7 or 3.14, things like that. But we don't want the A to be bigger than 10. If the A is like 12 or 125, then that's not the correct form of scientific notation. So sum number A times 10 raised to the sum power N. And the N, right here, this has to be either positive or negative whole numbers. Okay, so now let's see how can we change this number into this form. So pay attention to um, this number. Originally, it's, well since it's a whole number, so originally the decimal point is right here, right? And we're going to see how many times we're going to move the decimal numbers. And we're going to make this number in between of 1 to 10 first. So we can do that by, let's check this out. Move the decimal uh, point once, twice, three times, four, five, six times till here. And the reason I stop right here is now I can just look at this as 3.42. And notice 3.42 is in between of 1 to 10. That's why I moved the decimal point to in between of 3 and 4. Right? If you stop right here earlier, then that would be 34. Then uh, that's bigger than 10. That's not in the correct form. Okay, and then since we move the decimal uh, point six times to the left, right? let me just... Uh, six times to the left. That's how we can make the, this number become 3.42. So, this represents we multiply by 10 raised to the positive 6, positive 6 exponent. And I emphasize that we have a positive exponent uh, because we move, the six, uh, we, we move the decimal point 6 times to the left. And originally, you can think about it, originally we start with a 3 million, 3 million um, 420,000. It's a big number, right? So, Big numbers will give you a positive exponent. 
Okay, so that's one way to uh, pay attention to uh, if the if the exponent positive or negative. Originally, you have a big number, three million four hundred twenty thousand. It's a big number. So the exponent is positive. That's one way to remember it. Another way to remember it is if you move the decimal point to the left, to the left, that's positive six. It's a positive exponent. Okay? And again, uh, this is just like a test prep. So later on, you can check out my other videos. I will get into more details and more practice for scientific notation. So the moment of truth. Let's see. 3.42 times 10 to the 6, that's choice A, and we got it.